Hi there, this video is going to demonstrate um, an update we've just done to the C Trader Dinapoli Stochastic Linear Regression Curve Fitted Indicator. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so I'm going to explain this indicator as best I can. It's not that easy to explain it. Um, but the indicator obviously was created by a guy called Dinapoli and we've added some extra features to actually um, make it easier to identify trend reversals. So I'm going to quickly scroll down the product now. So as you can see here, we've just got some more information about the product. I'll give you more info when I actually go into it. it tells you more information about what linear regression is. Um, you can actually click on this link and it will go to Wikipedia and tell you a bit more. Um, also, the polynomial interpolation, interpolation it actually gives you more information about that. Click on any of these links and it actually give you all the information you need. So have a quick read of this page. Um, at the same time, whenever there's a, a signal for a trend reversal, you can receive a pop-up message, an email or a telegram message. Now, this is the old video. I'm going to replace it with the new one here. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to Ctrader now and try my best to give you the best demonstration I can. Um, so for running this indicator, I advise that you do it from the Automate tab, because if you go into the Ctrader window, you're not gonna be able to see all the parameters. Now, the only I, you can actually trade from this, but if you wanna use it just for signals, then I would use it from here to get your preset values. Once you have your preset values, then use it in the trade window for actually for trading. But until you know what values you need, I would definitely use the automate window because it's easier to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you uh, what we've got here. So what you're seeing on the screen now is some very strong price reversals for the euro dollar on a one day on a daily time frame. So you can see um, here that the actual price reverse and you can actually see the curve and the actual uh, behavior of the indicator at the bottom. Now we've only captured here for demonstration purposes, this price reversal here. So you see where the arrow is. So the arrow would have given you a price reversal for a sell almost at the point the first indicator was forming. And again, for buy, it would point, it would give you the, on the first couple of indicators, that, uh, sorry, a couple of bars or candles that have actually formed. Now, this is just an example. You can find the values for your perfect um, symbol. Each symbol will be different. Um, again, you'd have to find out what the values are. And I'm gonna explain now what the parameters are. So at the top here, you've got buy and sell threshold. These are your Dinapoli settings, if I highlight the mouse. So to edit your Dinapoli settings, you just highlight your mouse over the indicator, double click your mouse, <clears throat> and it will come up with the settings. Now, in this case, you can change your buy and sell threshold. Here it's 30 and 70. Whatever values you put up here, put them down here as well. Ignore the arrows. If you want to display the arrows, actually, you can leave them yes or no. Oh, actually, I'll tell you why, because these are all the parameters. So whichever settings you put here um, won't reflect in the two lines at the bottom. I'll tell you why. So if I change this to 40 and click OK, it still sets as 30, you see there. <clears throat> you've got to go to the indicator and you've got to actually change this value here to 40 and then it will move the line up. I'll explain what these lines are now. I'm just going to change it back. I'll change it back to 30 to, so it matches the values up here. While at the same time, I'm going to change the colors to something a bit brighter. And I'm going to make them dotted. OK, so these two lines, the whole idea of a Dinapoli stochastic indicator is to, to identify when an instrument is oversold or overbought. OK, in this case, if it goes above or below these thresholds, which is 70 and 30, it's usually deemed as overbought or oversold. So if it goes above 70, it means that this instrument here is overbought and you can see that it's moved all the way to there. By the time it got near the top there, it was pretty much overbought and there was a potential for a price reversal. <clears throat> so the whole idea of this indicator, you can just trade off it saying if it's above or if it's below, but there's so much noise if I scroll to the left, there's so much noise here. So you can see here there was no definite price reversal because it didn't go above the 70 and 30. That's a very basic check. Um, most of them actually, this indicator is, indicator is pretty good, but it doesn't give you solid uh, price reversals that you want. So what I'm going to show you now is the indicator and the settings to actually help you out and what we've integrated into this indicator to help you identify the actual um, changes. So for a start, where we've integrated the linear uh, regression curve fitting data, what this does, it actually calculates using data points how smooth this curve is. If you have a curve which is jagged or it's not really doing a lot, say for example this one, there's no real curve going on, there's no real um, price reversal. Because what goes on in the indicator, sorry, the, the curvature of the, both the green and the blue lines directly reflects what's happening in the price action. So if I was to scroll to the left, I'm trying to find one now. For example, this here where the blue line is jagged up and down, there's no, the red line here 
it's no real smooth um, pattern being formed. And if you look at the top, it's a lot of indecision on what's going on with the price. So the whole idea of this indicator is when there is a smooth crossover and the distance between the, green, the blue line and the red line is at a certain value, you have a higher probability that the price is going to reverse. OK, it's a bit of a mouthful. Sorry about that. I'm finding it, it's not easy to explain this indicator. So you can choose whether to use the signal line. Um, so I just go up to the parameters there. These parameters here, fast K, slow K, and slow D, are just the standard Dinapoli settings. You can read up about those ones. Include arrows, yes or no. You can just hide or show the arrows. If you use a signal line, this means that the indicator is going to be calculated using the signal line. In this case, it actually hasn't worked it with the values I've got at the bottom. <coughs> Hopefully my voice isn't going. So I'm going to put the data analysis back on. I would leave, I would test between signal line and no signal line. So the red line is the signal line. Now, if you select yes for the linear curve check, that means it's going to use the linear regression uh, data fitting for the calculation. If you select it as no, then you can select yes for the crossover check. Now, the crossover check, this is where it gets a bit of a mouthful. I'll quickly do the crossover check first. This feature was added to our Dinapoli stochastic indicators that are inbuilt in all our automated trading systems or major all our key kind of premier um, products because it's very good at actually identifying fake price reversals. So if you were to run, say, example, an automated trading system and you saw a lot of uh, drawdown spikes, using this indicator just with the crossover check in an automated system massively reduces those fake signals. It only gives a signal when there's a, a more of a solid price reversal. And that's because it measures the distance in the line going back a few uh, bars between the, the blue line and the red line. If you have, for example, very short distances, I'm trying to find an example now. Uh, for example, here, where there's no real, you know, if you go back four or five bars, there isn't a solid distance between the blue and the red line. That means there's indecision in the price and it isn't going to be a price reversal. So the whole idea is, in this case, the blue one, you've got a distance between the blue and the red going back so many bars. If they stay above a certain value, it means that there's going to be a price reversal. and It reflects the price action on the candle. OK, so if you are going to use the crossover check again, the crossover value is the value that you're going to use for the distance between the red and the blue. The lower the value means the narrower, the less distance. So you can experiment with higher and lower values. Now, this is already inbuilt in our uh, grid hedge trading system and our uh, switchback trading system. So it's the same feature. But this indicator has an additional feature by using a mathematical formula to calculate data points on, and work out the, the curvature of uh, these lines. This is what's happening here. So a perfect, uh, really a perfect scenario would be the red and blue being perfect curves going up and down and you'd have perfect sort of price reversals. It's it's not 100%. It's actually a bit experimental. Um, so you'd have to experiment with it and work it out and see if it works for you. OK, so the buy settings. Now we've got independent settings for the buy and the sell. And the reason behind that is if you can see here, the buy here was seven and minus one. So if I just draw a vertical line, so here it's seven and minus one. So if I was to change the buy settings to seven and minus one, and because it's got um, data analysis, it's shown me everything. If I turn the data analysis off, you can see it's only left the seven and minus one. So the whole idea is you use the data analysis to see all of the values and you can scroll back in time and then you can identify common values for the curve offset and curve slope that happens repeatedly. And when they do occur, you can see on the chart um, price reversals. So if you actually use this, with the data analysis, and you went back over a period of time and you saw there was very common values um, for buy signals when there were strong price reversals, then you know that historically, on a daily time frame, going back six months or a year, these values have repeatedly shown a strong buy trend reversal, then you want to use these values in the buy settings. Now, the curve, off curve offset tolerance means that, for example, this is seven and minus one. An offset tolerance would be the first value, not the last value. So we've only got an offset tolerance for the first value. So if you want um, seven minus one, and if you had a tolerance of two, it would be either nine or five. So you can experiment between the two. We hope that also um, you give us feedback to improve this product. We are a community driven uh, company. So whatever feedback you tell us to improve it, we will actually add it in future updates. So for now, this is the first version or probably the second version, actually, where we've added additional features to make it more useful. So again, with the sell settings, you can see here where we had a strong um, sell. If I just do another vertical line here, you can see the value was 80 and two. So here I've got 80 and two and a tolerance of two. 
the tolerance is for the first value 80 so it would be 78 or 82. Now I've got these values if I turn data analysis to no if you now run this indicator and you set your telegram settings here you have to okay fair enough okay I found a bug okay I just found a bug in the system as I was doing a um, video which sorry about that that has to be fixed I'll do that before it goes out um, so I'll just set that to no there was no settings in there that's why it come up it's actually good that it done that um, the whole idea of the telegram settings if you select that to yes you put your bot token chat ID in there and we've got tools to help you find your bot token and chat ID um, and we have we have many articles to actually help you with telegram how to get started and how to enter these values okay once you've got that if you have a price reversal using these values and you see an error occurs so the moment for example this arrow would have formed just there which is just this period here if I can highlight it here then um, you would have got an, a te instant telegram message for a daily time frame that's useful instant telegram message means that it will send it to your mobile phone like a text message instantly with no delay and you don't have to pay for it either <clears throat> we've also added email notifications for people that just want to use emails it's slightly slower it probably take could take five minutes whatever I don't know how long your email client takes to send and we've also got a display pop-up if you're looking at other charts and you want to know when this happens then you can have a display pop-up the whole idea is that you can use this on much lower time frames and identify when um, a certain pair or instrument or whatever is um, coming towards a price reversal and you want to be informed straight away and again you can have a sound alert and you can put the media file path here so you can choose any file path you want for a particular sound and again you can change the indicator um, here you can change the colors of the indicators <clears throat> okay my voice is going a bit there a bit there so that's it that's how to use the indicator now if I scroll to the left I'm trying to find there's other patterns that actually have these values that will actually show it what's going on nope I'm not seeing any okay so that's it I think if I were to change the value to something else you would get it but you get the idea the whole idea is you find the values here that will identify um, common price reversals that have happened going back in time and from that you can actually um, analyze it and put the right settings in so just before I go just to let you know that what you do is you put this on data analysis mode you scroll back and you look at common patterns that have formed so in this case if I just change the buy 1 to 24 for an example 24 and minus 1 and it's tolerance say a five and if I turn data analysis no you can see anything here that has the value similar to that it will show it okay there's two there so what you need to do is play around with it get the correct settings for different instruments um, find it where you've had common repeated patterns using those values and hopefully you will be able to actually trade from it so successfully yeah so again we, we actually first designed this many years ago I think it's like three or four years ago or maybe more and um, we didn't kind of complete it it was out there as an experimental system but I think there's a lot of promises in, in this indicator and I think with community feedback we could provide something that will actually be very very useful for identify, identifying price reversals okay sorry about that I got a bad voice today so that's the video if you do like the video please give me a thumbs up at the bottom and if you want to download the trial you can actually go to the product page you'll find it now go to the product page and you can download the trial with this big button here and if you want to buy it you can just add it to cart and check out if you want to find it you just go to training software uh, sorry training indicators paid indicators and you'll find it there okay that's that and also if you like the, our YouTube channel we've actually got a YouTube channel you can select come to our YouTube channel you can actually find it under um, channels our YouTube channel and on our YouTube channel you can actually subscribe and find out more um, videos that you might, might want to see we've got a whole range of videos covering different areas we've got educational videos and videos on our products okay that's it I know I took up a bit of time thank you very much and goodbye